So I was reading this incredible book, Gateway to Judaism, by Rabbi Mordechai Becher, which is an absolute must-read, everybody, by the way. And he said in there a story that had such a profound effect on me. And in 1958, Raymond Chandler was a famous mystery author, and he was writing a book titled Poodle Springs. And after the fourth chapter, unfortunately, Raymond Chandler passed away. And it wasn't until 1988 that his family decided to do something that would be really special for his memory. They said, you know what, let's hire another author to complete the book the same way that our relative would have. So they hired Robert Parker, another famous author, to attempt to complete this work in the same way that Raymond Chandler would have. What do you think he did to attempt to complete this book in the same way Raymond Chandler would have? You think he just read the first four chapters? Of course not. He read through every other book that Raymond Chandler ever wrote. He read through all of his manuscripts, the rough drafts. He studied Raymond Chandler. He studied where he lived and his family and everything about him in order to really understand this author to properly write the book the same way that he would have. Our life's mission is to complete our task the way that Hashem would want us to. And the more that we study Hashem's Torah, the more we see Hashem's wisdom, we could apply that into our own lives as well. When we study the chesed that Hashem does in all of its details through studying Rashi and the Ramban and the beautiful stories, stories in the Torah, we see how much Hashem does and cares for us and we apply that into our own lives. When we study Halacha and Gemara and see Hashem's thinking, understand it, get into it in a deep way, we make that thought process a part of ourselves and apply that to our lives as well. In the morning brachos, we say, Shenasan lanu toras emes. We thank Hashem for giving us a true Torah. And the Darke Musar asks, what do you mean, a true Torah? Of course the Torah is true. Do you think the Torah is false? And he answers, no, 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 that's not what the bracha is saying. The bracha is saying, we thank Hashem for giving us a Torah that shows us the truth. According to the Dark E. Musr, the author we are studying is giving us the truth. He's giving us the truth on human relationships and how to interact with other people. He's giving us the truth on how we're supposed to deal with life's challenges. He's giving us the truths as far as how we're supposed to raise our children. He's giving us the truth as far as how we're supposed to live fulfilling lives. This Shavuos, may our awesome author's Torah penetrate our hearts and give us the clarity we need to live a life of true fulfillment. Have a wonderful Yom Tov.